Hey babes, what's up? It's Val here. Today we're doing flat iron in three different ways. I am wearing one way right now. I actually just finished that part. In this video, you'll see how to do a flat iron in many different ways. Like I said, this way, a like wavy crimped look. There's curls and then there's like a normal straight, but just like, you know, my two cents on how you should do it. So this is way one on how to style your hair using a straightener. I am doing it on myself. The other ways will be done on mannequin heads. I'm going to set mine to 400 degrees because I have thin hair, but I have a lot of it. So even in a normal size section, it basically replicates the effect of like thick hair. For like thinner hair, you wanna go lower. And if you're kinda like me, I'd say you can go up to like 400 degrees, just be careful because that's the temperature you bake a pizza. So just be careful. And this will be done partially voiceover, partially like me talking like I am right now. So I like to section my hair off basically at the halfway point for this like bottom layer. Okay, split this in half. This is basically the same effect that those three barrel wavers give you, like a little wavy. So I'm going to be going under, over, under, over. I would take a decent sized section because the bigger the section, the bigger the wave will be. So take it, go like that. And also too, I'm not going to do like the very ends just cause then it looks like it's like too overly done even though you don't want it to be. Next section. So like I said, like that as if you're gonna curl it, then go the other direction basically. And then like that, and then like that. And then I release the ends. And when it comes to doing this part, I definitely say the messier, the better in the sense of the sizing of the sections. So some small, some big, some medium, some huge sections to make it be different. Do what you think will look good in your hair, honestly. This is a case by case. And also too, since it is so versatile, you can make it be wherever you want it to be. Also, just like have fun with like the way you pick up the sections. Sometimes I did vertical sections, so it's a bit different than like the horizontal ones and just gives you a different texture. Um, I like doing that when it comes to like doing hair, some vertical, some horizontal, it really shakes up the look. Okay. I'm gonna do the top section of my hair and I'll be back when I'm doing like around the face basically because that can get long and tedious. Okay, yeah, so these front guys now. So I guess I'm doing three sections. So I have that one there. And so for this one, I'm gonna go like that. So strain it because I don't want it to start at the very front there, but I'm gonna put it back on there. And now I'm just going to do a half turn and slide it down just because I want this to be a bit more away from the face. So doing like a traditional like strainer curl here, but not as much of a turn. So it won't be as curly. So one time just on the area where you don't want it to start. And like I said, just like a quarter of a turn, nothing crazy to push it back with. So that's just going to push it back there. And if you don't like it, just hold it, pull it down, and it will die it down, especially if it's still hot. And also do it smaller in the section. Usually the tighter the curl will be, so like that one's good in my opinion. And then this one, we're going like that. And then for me, this is like the whole like front section, like this inch area basically and now it's going to go 
And like I said too, if you don't like it, if it's too curly, especially for this type of look. Okay, yeah, and I think that's good and done so. So yeah, this is how you can get that three barrel wave effect without it. And for me too, I feel like whenever I spray it, just twist it up like that, because then you get more of like a salty effect, you know? And pro tip, put hairspray on your fingertips. That way you can make it like texturized, but yet still have hold and everything. I usually like tons of volume, but sometimes too, like, you know, if you have flyaways, you can then put it on your hands and then just smooth it down. But yeah, that's how I do this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to curl hair with a straightener and straighten just like my two cents after. Right now we're doing the curls. So I'm just sectioning off the hair. Uh, you want to use roughly like an inch size section. Take the strainer on it and then do a twist. You can either do a full twist or a half twist or a quarter twist. What I did for my bangs in like the first look was just a quarter. So based on how much of the, of the curl do you want. These ones I did a half twist. So it's not insanely curly. I personally don't like that look at all. But you just taper it to what you think you want to do. As you can see too, even on the ends, I just lightly go over it. You don't ever really want to pull on the hair like I'm doing with my mannequin head. It's just, she has such bad hair, honestly. She's been through a lot and my stand is shit. But yeah, so just go over it. And also too, like I said, with the twisting, decide which direction you want to go. Usually away from the face is the go-to, but you want to have a few that go the other direction to change things up and so they all don't go together. So that is how to curl your hair with a straightener. I will just show you the rest so you can see it as like a full section. But after that, I'll chat with you guys when it comes to straightening. Okay, now to straighten the hair. So like I said, this is just a few cents on how I think you should do it properly. Main thing, go over it only one time, only one pass, because the more you do it, the more your hair is subsected to the heat. So more heat damage. And after that, take thin sections, take your time, go through it slowly but surely, and that's how you get nice straight hair. This is the final look for both how to properly straighten hair and how to curl hair. Granted too, my mannequin head has been through a lot, so don't criticize her for the bad look. Basically, if you have decently good healthy hair, it will look much shinier and much better. Just do the same technique, just this one has been through a lot. She was originally blonde, dirty blonde when I got her, then we did highlights on her, then we colored it, then we permed it and then we colored it again. Like I said, go through the same technique for a straight or for curly that I did on her. Let's say thank you for her to come out because I did not want to do this to my own head. But yeah, I sometimes curl like some of my client's hair when they're in the chair if they have like shorter hair. It's easier to do it with the strainer for like hair that's like here-ish on them. Like, you know, there you go. <laughs> so that's how you can style your hair using a flat iron. If you have any other questions about it or any other hot tools, let me know down below in the comments. I know a lot of people aren't straining their hair anymore, which which is really good, especially if they have naturally curly hair. But I figured I'd give them my two cents for that way. So if you're still here, you're a true homie, you're a true MVP. Really freaking appreciate it. So if you're still here, consider subscribing because that means you like me or my vibe or my style or what I'm showing on my channel. And I am a hairstylist first and then secondly, like on this YouTube channel thingy. Um, so if you're ever wondering where the heck is this chick, she's not posting it, probably just because I am busy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. And if you did, 
make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all so much. And I'll see you guys here next time with another new video. See you then. Peace.